You guys want to see a magic trick? Yeah, check it out. This is a deck of cards that is really inside of a real, unbroken, unmodified glass bottle. Looks pretty cool, makes a cool present, makes a cool showpiece, makes people go, hey, how'd you get a deck of cards inside of that bottle? And I'm gonna show you how to make it yourself right now. All right, video editing aside, this is how you make that effect happen. First and foremost, your very own glass bottle that can accommodate a deck of cards on the inside, speaking of which you will need Ideally, a brand new deck of poker-sized playing cards. These are two and a half inches across, little over a quarter inch wide, little over three and a half inches tall. So get a bottle accordingly. Alternatively, if you can't find a bottle, and by the way, I will have everything you might need to try this at home if you are so inclined, down in the description. But if you can't find a bottle that, you know, is big enough for a poker-sized deck, you might also look into a bridge size deck, which is a slender two, two and an eighth, two and an eighth. I'm bad at fractions. You get the idea. There's different size cards, but I'm going with poker because it's what I got and I think it'll look cooler. You're also going to need an X-Acto knife sharpened. This one's a little grody, but I promise it is sharp and some glue. America's favorite craft glue here, tacky glue. I have also seen gelled super glue used in this type of effect before. I don't have that, so I'm gonna use this. I think it'll work just fine. And lastly, you are going to need a long, slender instrument. For my purposes, I am using a shish kebab skewer. Shish kebab, hello England. I like these because they're pointy on one end and a little more blunt on the other, a little more versatile than just a chopstick or whatever you might be using, so I like these and you'll see why in a second. Okay, let us begin. Step number one, we're gonna take our X-Acto here and very carefully, without breaking the label, work our way around the edges here and peel that sucker up. This is not difficult to do, just requires a little patience. You know what? Don't try this at home, kids. I am a professional. Now that I've got the end up, just gently peeling the rest. Slowly, slowly, slowly. And there we have one half. And there we go. I'm gonna stick that over here so I don't lose it. Not that I have a tendency to lose things. What are you talking about? Okay. Incidentally, if you're into magic tricks, I've been known to do a magic trick from time to time. This method is a way that you can open and modify a deck of cards and then reseal it and then open it in a performance and make it appear as if the deck is brand spanking new when in reality you're being a sneaky trickster you sneaky trickster you i'm gonna set these aside because i am gonna be sneaky and i don't want to waste or encapsulate a perfectly good deck of cards so i actually have a completely different deck of cards that's a little grody and kind of banged up had it in my pocket for too long. So they're not good for use anymore, so I'm gonna use them for this. They ought to fit in there. Fine, and if they don't, no one will notice. Okay, now I'm gonna take that same blade and very, very carefully, same deal as before, open up the bottom here. You, you know, when you're using a knife, especially if you're using it, I took the handle off so I have some more precision, but you have to imagine the knife is going to slip, and if the knife slips, where's it going? wherever, you know, if my thumb was here, danger. So my thumb is down here. And if I were to totally slip, I have my camera stand in the way so I won't hit myself. Never cut towards anything you don't intend to cut. Also a sharp knife is a safe knife. Okay, and the key here is to get this to open without bending. You don't want to bend in the cardboard. Oops. 
There we go. A little bit of fringe right there, not to worry. There we are. We have a card box, and it can go flat, and it can bend, and it can fit into the neck of our bottle. Next step, this is an optional step, but I'm gonna do it just, you know, for, for kicks, you know, if you're making this as like a present for somebody, and you wanna like show off that it's really a full deck of cards inside of a bottle, what if they think it's empty, you know? So it's common to cut a little window into the side of the box, so anyone peeping in there can indeed see there's a deck of cards in there. All right, there we are. I'm gonna be honest, this is not the cleanest window I have ever cut into a deck of cards, but <laughs> who hasn't had that experience, am I right? Now, we're gonna go ahead and take the bottom and fold it in such a way, and you're gonna push everything through backwards. This will allow you to unfurl it within the bottle frontwards. Does that make sense? At this point, you can now see we can sandwich up the whole shebang. We can take our bottle. So just make sure that the logo is facing the way that you desire. Let's look, come on now. We got our box inside shish kebab skewer. All right, I got a confession to make. I haven't used a shish kebab skewer before, and I am now noticing it's not strong enough. Use something stronger. All right, we're gonna use the paintbrush for this, just the handle, anything, sturdy, chopsticks, whatever, whatever you might need. And I don't know if you can see down into the bottle, what I'm doing here is kind of straightening out the box, trying to get it to unfurl from the torture I just put it through. Also, don't stress out about the box being all wonky. Things will straighten out as we fill it back up with cards. Now, it's time for glue. And all I'm gonna do is stick my instrument into the glue, get a little glob, and go on down and just, just a few dabs down at the bottom, because we're going to go ahead and re-glue the bottom flap. You wanna kinda get in the corners, kinda poke around, I don't know how well you can see. And of course, while you're doing that, you wanna be careful not to get glue anywhere other than your bottom flap. We're just pressing in underneath the other flap, and we're going to push it down. What am I doing? I forgot I had this thing. That fits. Ooh. All right, new, new, uh, new part to the list, paint stirrer. All right, the box is in the container. The bottom flap is as glued as I was able to get it, and you're probably noticing there's some like ink smudges on there, and also the window is gone. You're probably thinking I messed up and I had to go and grab an old box. Well, how dare you? I am a professional. I would never stoop to such levels. But, you know, for your own personal you know, purposes, it might be a good idea to have more than one deck of cards in case... Um, oh, no, no particular reason. All right. If you want to be a purist, you would take the original deck of cards. I am not a purist, so I'm going to be using this old grody deck of cards. You want to make sure all your cards are kind of facing the same direction, just so they look nice. And one at a time, careful as you can. Work with me here, come on. Slide those puppies in. One down, 52 to go. Brief pause to show you a little bit of technique. See how I have the card kind of halfway in there? I find that by leaving that card extended it makes it a little easier to set the next card on top of it and then you can settle them down into the pack. So now that they're getting a little stiffer inside the pack, I'm leaving one card sticking out towards the middle going in with the corner of the card I'm inserting and just kind of sliding it until it gets some purchase. And then the rest of the card pretty easily finds its way in amongst the others. One more, get down on in there. Take our paint stirrer, give all those guys a gentle smush. There we 
There we have it. An entire deck of cards inside the box, inside a bottle. Let's seal up the top of the deck. And to do this, just use in all the dexterity you can mustard. And it's tricky, of course. What part of this build is not tricky? You want to try to just get that rounded edge of the flap underneath those two corners there. You see those two peaks on either side of that divot? Both of those, but over the bottom card. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh no, I didn't get it on camera. Here, I'll do it again. Just for you guys, I'll do it again. Paint stirrer, stuck it in there. Gave it a little bit of an angle and pressed down and then pushed forward. And that brought the tongue all the way inside the box. And now the final step, my thing is still sticky. I had a very solid removal, so. And depending on, you know, how much of a stickler for this kind of thing you are, you may be interested in lining up your sticker as precisely as possible. Might come as a shocker to y'all, but I'm not super precise. Woo wee! Yeah, boy! That's how we do it. Well, that's how I do it. <laughs> there you have it. And I don't know, slightly haphazard attempt. But an effective attempt nonetheless. Of course, you can use more glue at the top if you want to get everything super perfect. But hey, nothing about me is super perfect. And here we are, the finished product. Real deck of cards inside a real glass bottle. And I just went ahead and tied a piece of leather to the top with some paracord, you know, just to give it a little bit of finishing. You can do whatever you want. Maybe your bottle even comes with a cork. I think they sell those. And if they do, you can be sure that I will have everything in this video that was useful to me linked down in the description. And hey, if you liked the video, I would really appreciate it if you left a comment letting me know about it. If you have any ideas for future projects, because I'm always looking for something weird to do, let me know. And, you know, give me a subscribe, give me a like, give me a dislike. Any feedback at all, positive, negative, wishy-washy, whatever the case may be, it is greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot, everybody. I'll see you next time.